We spend so much of our time playing around on our phones, scrolling through social media, or on our laptops answering emails. It might seem our ability to concentrate on one thing is collapsing. The new book from New York Times bestselling author Johan Hari is called Stolen Focus, Why You Can't Pay Attention. He takes a closer look at why this is happening and how to get our concentration back. Good morning. Thanks for Good being morning. with us. Hey, Larry. Hey, Robin. Great to be with you guys. So I think we all kind of have an idea that, you know, we're, we're looking at our phones too much. But uh, how do you fix that in this day and age? Well, this is exactly what I wanted to figure out because it felt to me like with each year that passed, things that required deep focus, like reading a book, were getting more and more like running up a down escalator. You know what I mean? I could still do them, but they were getting harder and harder. And I was particularly worried about the young people that I knew. So I ended up going on a really big journey all over the world. I interviewed over 200 of the leading experts on attention and focus. And I learned that there's actually 12 factors that are doing this to us. They include our tech, but go way beyond them. And the thing everyone needs to understand is your attention didn't collapse your attention has been stolen from you by these big forces but once you understand these big forces which range from the food we eat to the sleep we don't get we can start to get control on this again yeah so if there is an addictive nature to the algorithms that we have become victim to uh, does there need to be some kind of intervention here uh, on behalf of these social media companies Yes. So there's lots of things we can do at an individual level to protect ourselves and our kids. You can't see, but I've got something called a K-safe, plastic safe. You put your phone in it and it locks your phone away. There's all sorts of things like that we can do at an individual level. But you're totally right. We've got to take on and regulate these companies. Everyone, a lot of people our age and older will remember, we used to have leaded gasoline. And it was discovered that leaded gasoline really harms kids' brains. So what did we do? We banned the lead in the gasoline. There are specific aspects in the machinery that us and our kids are being exposed to all the time that we can just ban. We've got to deal with them. We don't have to tolerate this situation. The average college student can now focuses for only 65 seconds on any one task. The average office worker now focuses for only three minutes. This is not sustainable. This is not a good life. And I would say to anyone watching, just think about anything you've ever done in your life that you're proud of, whether it's starting a business, being a good parent, learning to play the guitar. That thing you're proud of required a lot of sustained focus and attention. And when focus and attention break down as they are catastrophically breaking down now, our ability to achieve our goals and solve our problems also breaks down. So this is why we've got to urgently at an individual level and societally, we've got to get a handle on this attempt attention crisis and I've learned in very practical ways for my book Stolen Focus how we can do that. I thought it was interesting you didn't just blame it on technology you said uh, the, the pattern we've had in our diets and also in the schools for years has contributed to this no recess all this constant testing and that has changed the way kids focus in school yes? 100 percent just think about something as simple as that evidence is overwhelming that kids need to run around. We are the first society ever to try to make children sit still for eight hours a day. It's insane. Only 73% of schools have any form of recess, elementary schools. So there's all sorts of things. Our kids need to run around. To your grandmother and my grandmother, would have seemed like the most idiotically obvious insight, but we've stopped our kids doing it, and it's terribly damaging their attention. The food we feed them is damaging their attention. Getting them to just memorize meaningless nonsense for tests is really damaging their attention. It's all sorts of factors, particularly for our children. We've got to get this right, because if a kid can't focus, that's going to set them up very badly for their whole life. So everyone around the world has cell phones now, but is there something uh, in other cultures and other parts of the world that they do differently that helps temper this uh, addiction? There's loads of things. 35% of us feel we can never stop checking our phones because our boss could message us at any time of the day or night. So in France, where I went for research, they introduced a very simple law. It's called the right to disconnect. Just as two things. Every worker has the right to legally defined work hours and every worker has the right to not check their phone and not answer calls when work is over. They've done that in France. It's significantly freed up people's attention. This is part of with, with all of the 12 causes of our attention crisis that I write about in Stolen Focus. They've got to be tackled at two levels. There's the personal level, and then there's this bigger level that we can all fight for together. And that's an example of where a bigger change makes it possible for us to make some of the individual changes we want to make. Like when they introduced the right to disconnect, people started getting better sleep. 
because they weren't neurotically mm. checking their phones mm. at 11 p.m., right? Yeah. And yeah. sleep is essential for attention and focus. But Larry, I have to see if you posted a new photo on Instagram. I have to check that <laughs> oh, every day yeah. before I go to bed. Wait anyway. till you see my talk tonight. <laughs> Don't do it! <laughs> Don't do it. <laughs> you can check out stolenfocusbook.com and you can follow Johan on social media. Thanks for being with us. <laughs> no, don't follow me on social media, but thanks. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, that's a catch-22 yeah. there. Dumb right. Americans. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hey, Mike. Thanks so much. Here he goes. <laughs>